Hello everyone and welcome back to the Lost Judgment series. We are now on part four. And Yagami, why do you look so depressed? Alright, so basically <laughs> we just got done with helping out the dance club, helping out the mystery club, and we are now able to stay as a guidance counselor for the mystery club. So this is gonna be making all of this uh plot inter uh convene and become one of the best so far because yagami is still stuck on his side mission of helping out the school oh yeah and that's right helping out uh saori son as well in the process but either way i've come to my decision that i will be primarily doing mostly story on this playthrough uh there will be a bit of tidbit side stuff that I will be doing. Sounds looking pretty good. So let's go for it. So today is uh, January 25th. So Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, I believe that's what it's called, is in the process right now. So hey guys. I will definitely be making a separate series on that as well. So uh, stay tuned, everyone. Because uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just a big fan of uh, Like a Dragon games, so that's why I want to just keep playing and playing. And if you would like to see any of the other games, let me know. How we all doing? Sweating it out on some layups? <laughs> uh, who are you? <laughs> My name's Yagami. I've been the MRC's advisor for all of a couple minutes, and I need to ask the basketball club a few questions. Real. Okay. There was a student teacher who used to hang around here as recent as, what, October? Mikoshiba's the name. Oh yeah, Mikoshiba-san. Anyway, he stopped showing up out of nowhere. Any of you have any theories? Okay, scratch that. Then, what kind of teacher was he? Is he nice? Is he a jerk? I wouldn't say jerk, but he was... enthusiastic? Hmm? Yeah. I mean, he did show up almost daily. The club was really good back in his day. That's probably why he had us hustling even harder than the coach. So, would you say he was on good terms with you all? I guess. Wait, where's Koda and them? Oh, no. Oh, from Class 2-2? I don't know. I haven't seen Matsu, Nakane, anyone. Oh, no. Were they Something at? Something special about Class 2-2? Two -two? <laughs> well, yeah. Koda's in Tutu, and she was Mikoshiba Sensei's star pupil. Ah, uh, now star I see pupil. it. I do. I'm gonna make a guess. So, since Koda San was the star pupil, uh, Mikoshiba, then uh, that's why she's being targeted next. You know, because Mikoshiba is basically, you know, I know who you're talking about. By the way, are you saying she was favored over the others? In a way. Mikoshiba sensei worked her harder because she hadn't played basketball till high school. See, most of us already had tons of experience by the time we joined. So, anyone starting as late as now has to be really athletic to keep up with the team. Mikoshiba sensei knew that too. I'd say him looking after Koda did us all a favor. Wow, sounds like the model instructor. Ah, eh, if you say so. But I'm not sure Koda felt that way. Oh? Mikashiba sensei might have just thought it was tough love, but I think he went overboard with the teasing sometimes. Hold up. Look at their shoes. They got like Jordan 5s on. Holy crap. And all of them have it in unison. Like, he'd make her shoot and then go, See? That was how not to do it. Are you saying he would mock her? Hmm. That makes it sound bad. He was doing it because he cared, I think. Hey. Wasn't Mikashiba Sensei the one who started the whole arousing thing? <laughs> he Whoa. said the way she held the ball was arousing. Said it was her main contribution. That's not true. She's got a nice chest, too. That's wow, fair. what a weirdo. Anyway, when Mikoshiba Sensei stopped coming, the guys in 2 2 were all like, Okay, what did Koda do to him? Are you implying they had a relationship? Beats me. Mikashiba Sensei did anything like that? He would have gotten canned on the spot. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, people like to gossip. He'd be like a fender, and then after that, everyone would hate him, and he'll be on the registry for years. But, as they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Maybe Kodasan's the reason he was always so fired up. <laughs> Maybe she's the reason he got fired. <laughs> so the writing on her hand. 
It wasn't some random insult. Mm. Um. So are Koda we is done uh, here? maybe into him. Last thing. Got intimate stuff. Where are Kodasan and the others? Are they off in this late? Ew, look no. at the floor, bro. What Everyone's usually here by now. Are you guys like ice skating on there? Like you guys have like the cleanest shoes ever, bro. Like they're so neat, and then you're like literally ice skating on the fucking <laughs> basketball floor or something, bro. Like, what the hell? Uh, maybe they're still in their classroom. Okay, then I think that about does it. So like opportunistic that everyone stopped for me to talk. <laughs> Back to work for the both of us, huh? Yep. <laughs> I don't know why you guys love me so much. I'm, I've just been a counselor for just a few minutes, you know? Just for a few minutes, and I'm getting uh, all the gossip and everything. All the trust. I'll take it, though. Why not? Where am I going now? Look for Coda. Oh, okay. She better not be getting bullied, bro. You guys getting bullied over here again? Koda? You need my help? Want me to go, uh... Clap these guys. A new one. Oh, no. Yep. Of course. Bullying never stops, guys. It just never stops. You spacing out on me? Look at me when I'm talking. You can't face us because you're weak. Who gave you permission to quit anyway? Newsflash, you're nothing without the club. Yeah, think about us for a second. Who has to pick up all the grunt work when you're gone? Maybe she feels special after what happened at lunch. Like people suddenly give a shit about her. Doesn't give you the right to ditch practice. Talk about selfish, am I right? Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Is that all you know how to say? You think we're letting a stuck-up bitch like you give the orders? You guys still haven't learned to play fair? This fucking guy. <laughs> Why's your dirty old ass still here? Attention, students! Be on the lookout for a creeper showing up in your classrooms! <laughs> if I were you, I'd watch my mouth around a club advisor. Say what? <laughs> I'm Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency, and your chairman just hired me to advise the Mystery Research Club. Ah. Bullshit. <laughs> I guess word hasn't gotten around. Maybe I'll let a few wisecracks slide for now then. But mark my words, I'll be here every day of the week. So be on your best behavior. Oh, wow. <laughs> Big middle finger. Uh, we better get to practice. Yeah, you do that. I'll give me just too oh, and, charismatic. Uh, break a leg out there, Matsu. Mm. He broke his nose, so. Bro. Not very nice, are they? Are you alright? I'm fine. Kodasan, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but as I said, I'm a detective, and I need to talk about Hiro Mikoshiba. Wow. He She's started not ready, training bro. as a teacher here pretty recently, right? She's one not day ready. He just stopped showing up. She got bullied just right now, bro. You give her some time. <laughs> At the time, did you notice anything strange about him? Maybe he seemed troubled, or you saw him hanging around strangers? Why? Why are you asking me? The basketball club members think you and Mikoshiba might have been close, at least at practice. Bro. They said that? <laughs> at least at practice. Yeah, I mean, she's getting bullied for it, Yagami, so... I mean, of course she wants to forget it, bro. Come on. That's probably what's going on here, you know? She's getting the, the blunt of the damage now. Well, I suppose there wasn't much truth to what I'd heard then. Don't sweat it. Just so you know, I'm actually going to be hanging around here at the school for a little while longer. If it's cool, I hope we can find a way to be friends. See ya. Wait a sec. Earlier today, it was your voice that I heard, wasn't it? I just... 
Never expected anyone to actually stand up for me in school. But you could say I didn't really stand up to them for myself much either. We all just treated it like it was a normal thing. Mm. Sometimes people would even laugh about it. <laughs> but then today, <laughs> something changed. Leave her alone. Everyone suddenly decided to take a stand like they'd seen enough. I couldn't believe it. But that first voice, the one that told them to stop, it was you. That was your voice, wasn't it, Yagami-san? <laughs> Who could say? I knew it. It was you. Thank you so much for that. No problem. Yagami is a real one, you know. Eye opening. I never realized. I never thought about how horribly I was being treated until everyone stood up for me. What's more, it made me see that I was strong. In fact, I finally stood up to the basketball kids. So you did. Is that what made you decide to quit the club? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to play basketball in a real team. You I still used to do it. This manga that made it look so cool. <laughs> in a comic, even if you're a terrible player, the team always tries to lift you up. Mm -hmm. I tried. I wanted it to work. Even if all they did was tear me down. But today... Good morals. I just up and quit. That's not cool at all, is it? You did nothing wrong, Kodosan. Truth is, there's a lot of injustice in the world that goes unseen. And some people decide it's easier to be part of the problem than be part of the solution. Right. The kind of people who only feel joy when they see others in pain. <sighs> you can only do so much to make people see the light. At some point, you've just got to let him go. You know what I mean? Hmm. Then there's no shame in quitting. Yeah. But Yagami-san... For now. I think you can only say that because you're such a strong person. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. In that case... After Judgment, you know, uh, Yagami basically has, like, no skeletons in the closet. Literally. If you know what I mean. We won't call it quitting. Huh? You can play. It doesn't have to be with the basketball club. If you practice, you wouldn't even need a school basketball club to get to where you want to be. If this sport is what you want to do with your life, I guarantee you there's going to be a path for you to take. And all you have to do is find that path. I mean, it's got to be out there. And then you don't have to call it quitting. I don't know about that. Are you sure? I mean... Wouldn't that be cheating? <laughs> Come on, try to work with me here. Hmm. So, the MRC, you're the advisor? Yagami-san? Yeah. If you need anything, you just let us know. Anything at all. For example, if you hit any more trouble with those basketball club kids, you find me. Sure. You've got this. Oh, that's sweet, man. All right, now get out of the classroom and go home. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, Mr. Detective. Yagami-san, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't you be at practice with everyone else? Yeah, well, remember Matsun and Sakaki? You know, the two other guys I'm always hanging around? They're ready to talk to you about Mikoshiba-sensei now. Huh. Well, detective, I think they have a lead for you. You sound very sus. Hey, you're here on some kind of case, right? You know, Mikoshiba-sensei talked to us pretty often. I think maybe we can help. Oh, okay. Trying to blackmail me then? That is... If you wouldn't mind starting fresh with all of us. Oh, turning over a new leaf, are we? We kind of have to. How else are we going to get good college recommendations? It would really bite us in the ass if you went and narked on us. So, mm. will you at least hear us out? Matsun and the rest are just upstairs. Please, be a nice guy. We're really sorry. You're the only one saying sorry, okay. though. Okay, <laughs> I see where this is going. How many guys are up there waiting to jump me? 
The next floor up is for third years, right? You rope some of your senpais into this too? Wow, you don't even know us and you're throwing out accusations like that? How are we supposed to become upstanding citizens with teachers like this? It's just not fair. Yeah, just gotta go through with it, you know? Fine, I'll hear you out. Tell your friends I'm on my way. Really? Awesome! Well, it's fun. Y'all give me a good take anyone down. Got lots of SP points I could start putting into things now. Right, so... A bit more tiger would be nice. Temporary boosts your attack power after landing a finishing blow. Oh, that's beautiful. That's like the best part of tiger, having that finishing blow right there. You go like, yeah, you know? With like the, you know, the elbows and stuff. It's so fun. And let's see, charge up X gauge with the block. Of course, we want one of those. Rising blow. I mean, yeah, we got a bit more crane as well. Why not? Let's get some jump in using Sky Dancer. Catch and throw back weapon thrown at you. Accept bullets. Hmm. With crane style, interesting. Get a bit more health boost from. Oh no, can't do that right now. Oh yeah, let's get some extension. Because uh, it's not extended enough at all. Get some of those. Okay. Save it up. Right. All right, what's in here? Nothing. All right, guys. It looks like we're going to have to go up to the third floor and uh, check out the situation here. And maybe beat some high knees into the ground. Okay, that's, that's going to be fourth right there. All right. Oh. Nice shoes, Yagami. Over here, Yagami-san. Sorry to drag you all the way up here for this. You wanted to talk to me about Mikoshiba-sensei? What? I can't hear a word you're saying, man. Why don't you come closer so we don't have to shout? Yeah, let's get this over with. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. What's that? Who are these ugly mugs? So many of you. You guys all know Mikoshiba-sensei? <laughs> nah. That's not how our senpai friends rule. They know the Yokohama Liumon. Yokohama Liumon? You mean the local gang? Hell yeah. I've got a friend who's in deep with those guys. I scratch their back by bringing them chicks to hang out with. And they scratch mine by tipping me for it. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal, actually. Also... We've got a little thing going. I get to drop the Liumong name if I need him to handle some business. So you sell them girls in exchange for honorary membership? You need to find better friends. Don't talk to me like you know me. I stay on their good side and I get my personal bodyguards. I work with the tools I've got to get to the top. <laughs> so you got it all figured out, don't you, kid? But you're missing the big picture. You're a pimp, They're bro. They're gonna turn the table so fast you won't know what hit you. I'll keep that in mind, but I wouldn't worry about me right now. You're the one who's got the real problem on his hands. You get it? From now on, if you even lay a finger on us, you offend the Yokohama Liumon, and they'll take that personally. You see what deep shit you're in here, Yagami-san? So how about it? You know how to say you're sorry? Cash for our pain and suffering. Oh yeah? How much are we talking here? Grand? A mill. If you're short, I'd be happy to hook you up with a loan shark. I know a guy who lends for the Seiryu clan Yakuza. First it's a gang, now it's the Yakuza. Keep bringing adult shit into this, 
I'm gonna start treating you like one. Ooh. Huh? Okay, Yagami. You wanna see what happens to gang members? I'll show you. You sure you wanna do that? We're gonna charge you extra. <laughs> oh, Don't matter, you got man. This shit down, Matsui. <laughs> Let's take this asshole down. Fuck him up. I'm gonna send you guys to the hospital. <laughs> Ooh, box cutter? I ain't gonna do shit. Oh, why is that window open? What the hell? Okay. All right. A nice room to fight in. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoops. I kind of forgot how to change uh, styles. Thank you. There we go. Oh, yeah. Feeling table. Charge it up. Okay, so let's see. That's right. Got the stick style again. Scrap him. Oh my god, I just threw him all over. Oh, I'm trying to do something? Nah, man. I'm gonna give you that parry. How do you feel about that? Oh yeah. Oh my god. Let's play by here. Right in the dome. So fun, man. This judgment's so fun. Oh, whoops. Okay. I was trying to do like Q for some reason. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Oh, my eyes. Cheap shot. <laughs> Can't see. Oh no. It's a cutscene. Gotcha now! Yagi me. You can't get hurt. No, you Or else you actually hurt. Huh? What? Wow. More parkour? Damn, Yagi me. You're on point, bro. What? Did he just jump off? Nah. He's just hiding in the dark. Like a scared little cockroach. Oh, I mean, you're the one with the cheap shot, bro. Don't know what you're talking about. You guys go look for him and tell me when you find him. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> you got this in the bag. Uh, Senpai, what do we do? You guys follow me. <laughs> we'll all smoke together till we get an update. Sure, I'll come with. Senpai's the toughest around and the coolest. Ah, oh, well. All for my adorable little underlings. Where'd all the chairs go, bro? Everything's gone now. Hmm. Guess my leg kicks did everything. Defeat these punks again. Definitely punks, all right. What's this over here? Verge of death, wounded tiger has been unlocked. Oh, cool. So it looks like I'm on my own now for sure. Not gonna have any of the Yokohama 99 or Kaito helping me out right now. Which is a little bit frightening to say the least. Because, uh, I mean, you know, I've got a fight, but I mean, Kaito didn't do shit though for a couple parts, so it doesn't matter. It's all good. Oh, I have to go down, huh? Ever, whenever we fight, we would just have Kaito in the background, just like doing nothing. So, tastes good, senpai. Smoking a cigarette in the classroom? Wow. 
I'm the advisor. <laughs> Listen to me. So you came all this way just to get your ass kicked. Hey, Akane! Go get the other senpais! Okay, I'm on it. You guys better watch out. If your teacher busts you smoking, won't you get in big trouble? On the other hand, you guys could use a lesson in manners. And I'd be happy to teach you. Huh? What the hell? Bastard! So this is where you were hiding! What well, I do to you, man? Now what? And that mouth of yours won't get you out of this! I'm taking you down! Alright, let's see that. Don't give me that smug look! The hell? Here we go! <laughs> What's that, bro? That. Oh my god. I feel like boxing is like the weakest one. Oh wait. That's right. I could do the uh oh dang it. Let's try to do the uh the guard break. Damn it. Keep missing. Okay. That's fine. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's get him. Do that. Alright, man. Hit me with your, uh, your finest. Come on. It's like, uh, it was, it was E. There we go. So, once he, uh, does some blocking or something like this, I could do E, kind of break that guard, and hit him with the, the combo. Oh, wow. I like it when Yagami just fists all of his targets. Wait. Dude, <laughs> you just took that. It's like normal difficulty, by the way. Show went uh, hard, huh? Jeez. This guy's a maniac. <laughs> He's too good at this, man. I know a lot of styles, bro. What can hey. I say? You mentioned compensation for pain and suffering. Uh, that still sound like a good idea? No, we were just being stupid. C could you maybe forget all that? Then from here on out, we're buds, right? Ah, <laughs> my shoulder! Holy shit, that hurts, Yagami-san! <laughs> Tell me everything you know about Mikoshiba. After all, you guys were pretty close, right? <laughs> uh, it's, it's fun to be a god, bro. Mikoshiba-sensei showed up to practice, like, basically every day. Kind of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest. Why? As soon as our coach would leave, it's like a switch would flip and he'd start drilling us. He'd make us do like 10 sets of cross court dashes. And if even one of us lagged behind, it meant 10 more for all of us. Well, you guys that hating on like David Goggins, bro? Quick. He's like Oda David. was our weakest link. So oh. Mikoshiba was especially harsh on her then. Yeah, because she's such a freaking klutz. Even the first years got sick of her eventually. Mm. <laughs> Only thing she did right was unite the team against her. You gang up and belittle a single defenseless girl, a beginner in your sport, and you call that unity. Real classy. Should have taught her a thing or two, guys. Listen up. Mikoshiba's parents have reported him missing. Foul play could be in the works here. He's been gone for far too long. Hey. You think maybe Koda did it? Some kind of crime of passion? This isn't the time for bullshit. Or you want to keep going? Uh, nope. I'll pass. Have you talked to Sawa Sensei yet? He probably knows Mikoshiba Sensei better than anyone. 
All she told me was how exemplary he was, both as a student and a student teacher. And that he looked out for you guys, out of some sort of camaraderie. Huh? She really talked him up that good? Why, something off about that? Uh, it's just... Sawa-sensei was really cold to him, no matter what he'd do. Mm. I actually brought that up to him one day. And it turns out the rumors were right. Rumors? Back when Mikoshiba-sensei was a student, one of his classmates apparently committed suicide. And Sawa-sensei suspected him of bullying the kid. I don't think he ever really got past that. He'd get all depressed sometimes. Really? Mm. Sawa-sensei thought Mikoshiba was a bully? Oh, yeah. I actually asked him about it once, but he just laughed it off. Ah, oh, he's coping, bro. Yeah, we need some more proof. I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So, as far as I knew, Mikoshiba-kun was a good student with solid grades back then. I wish I get these, like, cutscenes whenever I'm trying to remember something, you know? That would be so useful, like... You're on a test or something and you just get that cutscene. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. But alas, I don't have photographic memory. What did she really think about Mikoshiba? It would be really I'll cool have to though. Press her on it. Comment down below if you think that would be really cool. I'd like to have a cool conversation about it. Because I think I've read a book before about it, actually. I forgot what it was. It's been so long. I was like a kid, too. Really young kid. Hey, how's it going? You just stumbled because I'm a ghost or something? What did you see? Okay. Follow the red dots. Where does he want me to go? First floor? Is that where you want me to go? Guess not. Second? Yeah. Bakuti room. So I, I was at... It's definitely over here. Okay. Alright. Let's do some saving. What's next, guys? You hear Sawa Sensei? I'm an advisor now, so we're cool, right? Hi there. Has Sawa Sensei gone home? Actually, she's in a meeting with the chairman. So then she's at his office? Yes, but I think they may have some visitors. Gotcha. Thanks. <laughs> Finest hour, yeah. Hmm. Hey, what are you looking at? Okay, scolding a student. That guy is asleep. Fire that guy. What the hell? Are you guys doing some algebra over there? Cool, cool. Always good to study up on some math. Oh, looks like I broke something, I think. Oh, who are you? Okay. Whatever. Hey. Back to the task. Uh, and again. Okay, hello world again. What the? Attendance. <clears throat> What's this about? Alright, who's that over there? What the? He's looking. Oh. Who's that? Who's that? Yaharo's son? The boy who killed himself four years ago? Odd for a teacher to have a picture of a single random student on her desk, right? She must think about that every now and then, but not enough where she would put his face out like that. Fully. Just a partial. Hey. Yeah. If I could, I would go through the laptop. Probably have him as like a desktop background or something. You never know. Well, 
laptops is very uh, personalized. Oh, but I would have to get the passcode and everything though. Oh. Huh. Oh. What do you guys want? Pardon. Chairman, let me in. Uh, Yagami-san. Those men are with the Kanagawa police. They said they're here to make inquiries about Mikoshiba-kun's disappearance. And they asked to see Sawa-sensei too? Yes. But I have to ask, can you tell me what's really going on? You were asking questions about Mikoshiba-kun as well. Oh. Oh. What do you want? I should leave it to the police to fill you in on that. I mean, their sources are probably more recent than mine. They should have the latest details. Mikashubakun is no longer with us, is he? And it's just as I feared. Oh no. I'm sorry, Chairman. My penguin man. Talking to another penguin man. The penguin from uh, Batman. Oh, two sides of the same coin. Two months ago, a young man named Hiro Mikashiba went missing during his stint as a student teacher. Mikashiba quickly becomes the center of attention when his rotting corpse is discovered and Yagami scours the school for any clues left behind. Rumor has it, Mikashiba drove a classmate to suicide in his student days. A rumor that the school faculty is seemingly unable to deny. Chapter three, guys. Let me guess. We're not at the school right now. Oh, we're still at the school. I was going to say it was going to be another one of those breaks, you know? Where you're not at the school and you're just talking. Face to face. With someone. Yeah. They're drilling her, bro. Making sure to get all the ounces of, uh, info. Ah, oh, she looks sad, bro. Really sad. But she was happy, though, Yagami when she first came. Why are you still here? Because I care. Now, if you're open to the idea, you think we could walk and talk? Why? So you can grill me with more questions? Hmm. You realize the police just finished doing that, yes? I figured they'd come knocking sooner or later. Then you knew Mikoshipakun was murdered, didn't you? And that's why you've been snooping around our school. You're not wrong, but can we please take this elsewhere? <sighs> come on. Throw me a bone here. So, uh, Sawa Sensei? If you knew Mikoshiba was murdered, why didn't you tell me up front? Because that information's not public. Didn't the police ask you to keep quiet about it? Well, yes, but even so... What sort of questions were they asking you anyway? I thought I was supposed to keep quiet. Cute. Now I'm going to ask <clears throat> you one last time. Please stay off our campus. You don't belong here. One liner. Cute. <laughs> Yagami, bro. So headass. But it's so funny, though. I mean, what if you end up injuring a student? It would be a nightmare for all of us. They're trying to injure me. Nobody's getting injured. So all that's say. water under the bridge now. Is that so? Yeah, and I should probably mention, I'm the new advisor of the Mystery Research Club. I have the chairman's approval and everything. So it looks like I have a place here after all. What? Since when? I think we're getting sidetracked here. Did the police ever mention a suspect? No. All they told me was what happened to Miko Shibakun. That he's no longer a missing person. That he's dead. 
and was dumped in a derelict building. My condolences. That was all we found out. The police were the ones asking the questions, not us. They hardly gave us room to breathe. Yeah, sounds like an interrogation, all right. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else? Actually, there is. I'd like to know your thoughts on Miko Shiba-kun's killer. What? For example, take Akihiro Ehara, a man who took this school to court over his son's suicide. Miko Shiba came up even then, as a culprit bearing some responsibility for that. Ehara-san? But he got arrested for that groping incident at the train station. So the police really are keeping their lips sealed. Must you always be so cryptic? It's possible Ehara-san had a hand in Mikoshiba's murder. What? Despite being incarcerated for two months, he knew exactly where the corpse would be. He revealed it upon being sentenced. This was before the Kanagawa police had even ID'd the body. Then... was it really Ehara-san? A court would say being in jail is about as solid an alibi as you can get. Right. But he could be connected somehow. How do you know all this, Yagami-san? I'd tell you, but I showed you one of my cards, so now it's your turn. Uh, huh? I've heard you weren't as big a fan of Mikoshiba as you led me to believe. Is that true? <sighs> this again. You knew he was a bully all along, but yesterday you told me he wasn't the type. I just want to get the story straight here. <sighs> Did you have a sudden change of heart, or were you lying to me for some reason? It's not that simple. Oh, one more thing I learned today. It was Miko Shiba who turned the basketball club against Kodasan. Pretty sadistic for a would-be teacher, don't you think? That's enough. Then it's not a stretch to say he probably was a major factor in the death of Ahara's son four years ago? And I think it's also safe to assume you know more than you're letting on, right? Wow. This is murder we're talking about here. Lies aren't doing anyone any favors. <sighs> His name was Toshiro. Sorry? Everyone keeps saying Ahara's son. Like he's just another statistic. He had a name for heaven's sake. Toshiro. Toshiro. Right. I'm sorry. Now if you'll excuse me, I have papers to grade. Sawa-sensei, please. Nine o'clock tonight. I'll be at Plage on Izazaki Road. We'll finally have a real talk? Something like that. Cool. Let's call it a date then. One for me, Kaito, zero. <laughs> He's gonna be so mad when he figures out that I'm gonna go out with her. It's all brotherly love until I uh, end up with someone else. But. The game led me to believe I'm going to be courting three girlfriends in, in side missions, so it's probably X to doubt. Anyways, let's have a bit of fun, guys, shall we? Kaito-san, so I just left the school, and tonight I'm... Wait, where are you? <laughs> Third stop of our bar crawl, that's where. I thought work was done for the night. Licking the wounds of rejection, huh? Is the 99 gang with you? Just Sugiura. Tsukumo said he had to get back to the office to take care of some kind of system trouble. Right. A computer crash or something? <laughs> Don't know. Something about a buzzy searcher going haywire. I pretty much tuned it out, man. <laughs> anyway, you gotta come take his place? Nah, I gotta stay sober. I'm meeting Sawa-sensei in a bit. You what? God damn it, man. You are killing me today. <laughs> Would you simmer down? <laughs> this is work, not whatever it is you're doing. Oh, <laughs> then I ought to come be your backup. Where are we headed? Come on, you think I need a drunk co-pilot? Knock one back for me, though. Hey, I better not find out you two got it on. Don't do this to me, Tak. <laughs> uh, at least we updated Kaito, so he's on call, you know? Ready to fight. Well, then. Before we do that, let's have a good look at um, the club as well. 
Because uh, the club right now might give us a quest. And I'm actually trying to figure out if you'll get anything cool, you know, doing it. Hello. I'm a solid. Yeah. Yagami-san. I guess so. I'm sorry. By the way. Yes. Well. Yagami-san. Mm-hmm. Okay. All the bad things. Hmm. Huh? Oh. Professor? Who is the professor and why are they making these kids do bad behaviors? Professor James Moriart. Out. He. Moriarty? Napoleon of crime. In other words. So to sum it up. No. Well. Hmm, website, huh? Yes. Yeah, anonymous hate. I hate that. I actually had a um. I believe it was like a secret like um uh, uh social media thing that was going around in my school and uh <laughs> it was i gotta admit it was messed up and uh i don't know why but it had that anonymous feature and everything went haywire that's all i gotta say hmm? very similar to this Unbelievable. No. Huh. Yes. All right. Who's the I thugs? See. Hey. Who again? You don't know what who can is? Bad person. Right. Well. All right. Ami and Tojo disbanded. This definitely does pick up after uh, Like a Dragon 7. Yakuza 7. Yeah, might be just a uh, yes. figure that they lament about, but they aren't actually true, you know? All right. Do you need anything? Yes. All right. Uh, huh. Scheduling for tracking your activities. Okay. Why not? Oh, cool. <laughs> Dance like nobody's watching. But I'll hardly be there to watch as well. But I feel like I can learn a thing or two though with dance club. Maybe I'll get some more fighting skills. You never know. Seiru High has been a playground for all sorts of shady activity as of late. 
Osawa wants Yagami to look for these matters and form bonds. These investigations are known as school stories. So if I infiltrate different communities and leave a positive impact, my leadership will grow. Okay. Teamwork, focus, guts, appeal. Got you. Now that you mention it. Yep, lawyer's license. No. <sighs> right. Okay. So we got investigate. Right. So that will definitely be a good thing to do on uh, whenever I get back to school all the time. Supposed to be nothing around here. Right. Well, in that case, when I come back to the school, I'll, uh, I'll work on some of those investigations. And maybe they'll be outside as well. It's good to have that active. Right. Let's level up some skills. Why not? Rising blow. Crane. Let's get a bit of crane. Why not? Vault tilting. Dancer air wall. Let's see if some. Ah, can't do any of that yet. Yeah, I gotta save up for these. That is for sure. Well, it's time to go to Yokohama 99 then. And check out what's going on with Shaq Lacken. He's like, what is that? <laughs> Look at his face, bro. Uh, that face. He was like, what was that? He was like, oh shit. Uh, lost judgment. So fun. I want to jump that. I do that one more time. Ah, oh, cool. All right. Well, we're here, guys. Yokohama 99. Yagamishi, how was school? Kaito-san wasn't happy about you going solo, you know. Eh, he'll live. He can cry about it to Sugura. So he does. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice Skenda Law bending your ear earlier. Anything important? Right. I haven't filled you in yet, have I? 
Yeah, loaded this, Tsukumo. So a policeman arrested for sexual battery might have actually been involved in a murder? Fascinating, if not perplexing. Yeah, and its roots could very well be Serio High School, where a student was driven to suicide four years ago. In fact, the motive for this murder may even be revenge. Tsukumo, could you find any mention of that suicide online for me? <laughs> Already done, I'm afraid. Once the chairman asked us to take his case, I looked into everything on the school I could find. If memory serves, he was a third-year student who hung himself at home. The name of the deceased, Toshiro Ehara. Yeah, that's him. So, while I did find some murmurings about it online, nothing really substantial ever surfaced. He didn't leave a suicide note or a will, and investigators never found anything salient. So I was right before. What well, baby face guy? His father, however, suspected there may have been a bully and promptly took Serio to court. But without enough evidence to back it up, the system more or less spit him out. Even so, the lawsuit dragged on until this year. But that level of news hardly makes a ripple online. Yeah, I doubt it would. And that's all the intel I've dug up regarding the case. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> What's that sound? I'm testing a system I've been tinkering with. I thought I'd fixed this bug already. A system for what? Well, it predicts the occurrence of crimes. It predicts crime? No way. <laughs> Perhaps that was a bit of hyperbole. But it does come pretty close. Essentially, this system is designed to monitor and detect danger zones within a specific area. The city itself, to be exact. That still sounds pretty amazing. If you say so. I basically cobbled it together out of pre-existing tech. Yagamishi, do you remember when I used my chatter search program for you not too long ago? Oh yeah, that was a real trip. You pretty much hacked chatter to see an entire social network at a glance. Yep. And this system I've developed is a souped-up version of that. Though there are substantial differences, the principle is still... Uh, how about you just try it out? We'll start with this little window. It displays all relevant chatter posts after filtering the fluff. And these posts are all pinpointed on this map of Ijincho? Right. It maps out where in Ijincho each specific post was made. So my AI constantly combs through chatter's database as it updates in real time. Then, it extracts only the trouble-related chatter for display on the map. So it actively seeks out trouble? It's wild that you can program around such a vague concept. Well, in its current iteration, the AI isn't exactly genius material yet, so it still pings some false positives. There's something else, Tsukumo. What are you going to use it for? I'd like to use it for promotional purposes. Like advertising? Yeah. Since we're still relatively new in town, we don't have the kind of rep that brings in regular business. Oh, uh, okay. And that is where my buzz researcher comes into play. Buzz researcher? Consider the glut of trends and terms strewn across social media. These buzzwords are sometimes clues to trouble beneath the surface. So, when the system picks up one of these words and we rush over to save the day, the hope is, our reputation will flourish as a result. Damn, that's some pretty intense marketing you've got going. Well, we probably won't be paid for impromptu cases, so this is sort of an upfront investment. Mm -hmm. But directly intervening before a situation gets out of hand will build us the brand we want. At least in theory. I'm not sure how it'll all pan out yet. So am I the muscle? Well, I think you've got something there, Tsukumo. Mind if I give it a shot? I thought you'd never ask. Though the system's got a long way to go by my standards. But with you as a tester, I know I'll get strong enough feedback to have this baby running in top form. <laughs> so you wanted me as your guinea pig all along. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. <laughs> you sure cracked that case quick. Anywho, let me get this app booted up on your phone. May I do the honors? Go right ahead. I don't know how you do it. Crisscross applesauce. And that Tsukumo. should do it. On the chair. Here you are. Okay. I can't do it myself. Let's see here. Um, this is just really a hard. big mess. <laughs> How am I supposed to know where to go? Hmm. This is indeed too much noise. In fact, this is entropy in motion. This won't do it all. 
To solve this, we narrow down the keywords. In other words, simplify our search? Yeah, by manually filtering keywords, we can decrease false positives, thereby locating the right spot more accurately. Well, how do we do that? Does the AI do it for us? No, not entirely. What the AI does is pick up on any keywords it deems important. Emphasis here on the word any. Meaning it'll turn out duds every now and again. Yeah, that's still pretty busy. And therein lies the predicament. To narrow these results down any further, we must depend on instincts, experience, and even inspiration. So you're saying human intuition? <laughs> Precisely. Even in this day and age, human intuition will trump AI every time. Right. That is, until we all become cyborgs. But that's I getting wonder. ahead of myself. As it stands, Yagamishi, you've got the best intuition out of all of us. Well, let's just start with a post that smells like trouble. What is that? How about this one? I can smell the trouble brewing already. Oh, interesting. And let's filter our results around that specific term. And there you have it. See, there's a concentration of suspicious keyword usage on this street here. As to what sort of trouble is brewing, you'll have to rely on your good old-fashioned eyeballs. Shady activity isn't always the easiest to spot, so maybe think of it as a sort of treasure hunt. A treasure hunt for trouble, huh? Does sound right up my alley. <laughs> Doesn't it? I can already picture you out there, helping people in need until it all pays off. <laughs> what could await you at the end of the trail? My heart rate is already spiking. Some money and points. I'm just glad to have a helpful app for once. That's what's going to wait for me. That reminds me. I also have a gadget here you may find useful. Can't always be glued to your phone, right? What is that? What is this? Sugmo? It's a high-end sound collector. It boosts the volume of mid-distance sounds, making them easier to hear from farther away. I knew you were an autophile. A sound because of your headphones. Huh? What the hell? I could use this to pick up cries for help. Or even eavesdrop all over town. That's the idea. With enhanced hearing and geolocation capabilities, you'll be a trouble terminator. <laughs> Just like I've always wanted. Jeez. Now, I do have some other gadgets in the works, but I'm still fine-tuning their UI. I'll show you soon enough. Looking forward to that. Cam Sukumo. He's good at what he does, though. That's for sure. Oh, cool. Thank you, cat. Right. So Sukumo basically gave us a way to do missions once more. It's a lot to do in uh, Lost Judgment, that's for sure. Well then, let us get going. See, do we have any town to go? Nope. Buzz researcher. Okay. So over here. Right. Don't mind me. Just gonna casually skateboard on the uh, the road. Hey guys, how's it going? Want a piece of this? <laughs> That's insane reach, Yagami. Hey there. Traffic cone to the face. Oh my Let's god. You just got clapped. The Yagami is just so busted, even without any upgrades. Can I jump on this? Oh, I can, but I can't do the tricks. Hmm. Right here. Where's this Arcanid man? Who 
Ooh, okay. So we could uh, switch to the noise amp. This thing literally looks like a, a gun, though, so. Hey, what do you think about my gun? I'm gonna aim it at you. Oh, that's cool. All I hear is white hear. noise. Oh? Hearing some Japanese, no? I can hear it. Oh. <laughs> that guy's gonna die for sure. Oh, there's no way. But he said he was gonna he was gonna fall though, you know? Nah, whatever. He's gonna climb these perfectly uh Layered pipes up to him. Damn, Yagami. Excuse me. <laughs> Yagami, help him already. Please. Arcanid man. Excuse me. Wow. Geogamy. Yep. <laughs> Sh Shinataro Tamai. Yutori Okachi Machi. By the way. Interesting names. Yeah, what were you doing there, Tamai? <gasps> what the hell, bro? Oh, I get it. You're the Arcanid man, huh? Hmm? Let's just say, uh, are you a resident, bro? Like, what are you doing here? Yeah, how'd you get up there? Hmm? So that wasn't it. All right, they're not here this season. What are you talking hmm. about? <laughs> huh. Dang it. Yeah, why don't you get some help? <laughs> you almost died, dude. So we have to look at him. What the? Oh, well, that was quick. Dang. I don't know why, but I automatically just focused myself onto his giot, his ass. What's this? Based on that shape, that's woman's underwear. That means? Oh no. Wait, y'all give me what are you is, touching it? Uh... Uh... I see. <sighs> Professor Panty. No way. What? <laughs> All right, so you're one of the professor students, huh? Or maybe you think you're the professor, but you're not. Oh, yeah. 
Whoa. Okay, Yagami. Right on the wall like that. Here we go. Wow, I can just spam this. <laughs> Yagami just does it so fast. Dude, he's unconscious for sure. <laughs> Weirdo. Wow. <laughs> Y'all gonna be so cruel. Thank you, officer. No. Yep. Please. Yep. Always ask for us. You need to get some money, you know? And some special points. Oh, wow, I got 3,000 for that? Perfect. In that case, let's get back to Yokohama 99. Hey, get out of the way, man. What the hell? Can you see I'm doing my groove over here? Hey, what's up, guys? I want to try something new with you. Wow. I hit all three of them with that one. Wow. That was quick. All right, Yagami. Let's do some tricks. Okay. Oops. Okay. Do this infinitely. As long as I have it. Ah, oh, I can't go over the taxi though. Not fun. Oh, that's the wrong door. Gian, what are you up to? What about this? Can I, uh... Well, I really like how he did that. Pull that up. Hello? Anyone there? Nothing? Alright. Sukumo, I did it. Yagamishi, how was your first outing? Not bad. I handled the problem and name dropped you guys, so all in a day's work. <laughs> awesome. Sounds like the system's working gangbusters. By the way, if you'd like a little pro tip, you can enter keywords on your own, independent of any post. Why would I do that? Say you pick up a rumor in town or hear someone drop a dubious phrase. Putting that dubious into a keyword phrase. database will help refine the results algorithm. And thus, the program becomes more effective. In layman's terms, the more you enter new data, the more my program can learn. That's gotcha. AI right there for you. So this thing can hone its street smarts along with me. Correct. Do make use of the system often, if you could. We'll see. We will see. I know this is a lot, but one last thing. We've also got a bulletin board for case requests. A good number of them are somewhat beyond our current capacity. So if you ever feel like it, maybe you can pick them up. Hey, never hurts to have more income. I'll take a look sometime. Jeez. So much to do in this game. So much to do. Alright, what do we got here? Forbidden taste. Have you heard of the 
phantom ramen stall that suddenly appears in the late night streets of Yokohama. I'm a ramen researcher who has traveled across the globe, slurping many a delicious noodle, but I have yet to earn a phantom stall. They say this ramen here has a captivating flavor that can be found anywhere else and is made with forbidden broth. As such, I've decided to eat the ramen no matter what. Will you help me find the phantom stall? I'll be waiting for you at Mengwu with more details. Okay. Why not? As long as it pays me. I'm sure I'll be able to use this money somewhere. It was nice in Yakuza 0 to uh, use the money to invest in yourself. Because it was way more um, uh, front forward, you know. You just had to make some money and grind. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make some money and grind. But uh, in this game, you have to grind. And the money is just kind of like a... I don't know. For other things, really. For side quests and such. Not really for improving your skills. Alright, so it's just right there. Alright, let's check something out real quick. Hello, Sensei. Oh, I see you up there. You're right there on the right. I see that little like headband you have. Oh no. here with your mass oh my god insane y'all give me okay use it as a spear oh cool Do you know about this, Sawa? Sawa Sensei, isn't it? Stereo High School, Class 2 2. Yes? Um, sir? Take a break. Uh -huh. You guys don't say much, do you? After this is over, you better start talking. And tell me what you know. Okay, let's do this, Yagami. Fuck these masked men. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Give him a little of that. Do some leap frog. And then change up. Oh my god. That guy, how are you not gone yet, man? You just got launched. Here we go. Some boxing style in there. Oh wait, I should have uh, stayed in boxing style. There you go. Can break some of their uh, regards like that. Alright. See one of these power traits that I have with the boxing style. Switch up the crane. Flutter over here. Mask man B. Or white mask B, I mean. I can't believe they put them as like a uh, uh, characters like that. Put them down. Like a hog. Oh, you missed. Alright, well, say uncle. <laughs> man, out of all of them, the I the uh, snake style is the most flashy I've ever made. Oh no. Dude, are you a school dude? Sir, are 
are you okay? I hung up with the cops just now. Really? Just now? You want to keep going? Yo. Need a hand with these guys? Huh? Good job holding them back on your own. Dude. You're not the only <laughs> hero here. Uh, uh, I mean, where did you even come from? I was watching from inside, man. Okay. You shouldn't get involved. Relax, fella. Allow me to show you how it's hey, done. Hold on. Listen up. I'm just gonna warn you. I'm a better fighter than this guy. Huh? That's all it took? <sighs> Fuck. You and your yeah, Timberland and your right. jacket? Thanks for making them slink into the night before I could even ask who they were. Huh? Later. <laughs> Y'all give me one to take all um, the credit. Can I help you? I came here to meet someone. I'll just check upstairs real quick. Sensei, are you okay? Did someone get here before me? I'm sorry. Oh, no. There's nothing I can say. What are you talking about? I can't about? tell you anything you don't already know. Uh, what happened up here? Did someone come to intimidate you? Someone who might be involved? I couldn't make out who the woman was. She had sunglasses on. But what did she say to you? That I need to stay away from this. The whole Mikoshiba kun case. And then she said that you need to do the same. Me too? Yes. And what if I were to refuse? If you said no. Then she told me I should give you this picture. Hmm? Is it Genda? Who's that? Huh? Whoa. This is Miko Shiba. I'm so sorry, but I... I'm leaving. Wait! I get it. At least let me walk you home. Just stop! I don't want anything to do with this! If you come back to the school, I'd appreciate it if you would stop talking to me. There's nothing I can do to help you anymore. Wow. Mikushiba. What the? Hey. We can't tell you. He was restrained. They drank some uh, Kiwami Cola. Suspicious. Let's see here. Hey. His tie. Suspicious. What's that over there? So it's a it's a building that's dilapidated. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Definitely got beat it, beaten over for sure. Ran over by a, a gazillion punches. Wait. Okay. I was gonna say. His shoes are clipping through the carpet, but uh, it's okay, I guess. No, they're, they're not really clipping. Must be involved in some way. Yeah. Still, so many unanswered questions. I don't know who those guys were, but they were definitely really weird. Having those type of masks. And attacking me out of nowhere. Come on, man. Buying time to go intimidate Sawa. That would be the white mask of the Yokohama Liomang. These guys would break your knees for the right price. So they're just a bunch of thugs for hire? Pretty much. Well, 
Anything else I can do for you? I've earned something of a reputation here in this town. But you've got a face I haven't seen anywhere before. Why are these goons picking a fight with you? Got any ideas? Mm, I've got a hunch. But I'm gonna keep it to myself. A tightwad, huh? Didn't I just bail your ass out? A handyman? It's Kuana. You got trouble here, I'm the one you call. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. I can handle shit the cops won't deal with either. You're a plumber? Mm-hmm. Kuana? Not exactly a service I'm in need of at the moment. Crossing that line is tough, and I prefer to do it myself. Oh, really? And what line of work would that be? I'm a private detective in Kamrojo. What is it now? Some competition just showed up on my turf and made a scene, man. How would you feel if the situation was reversed? You wouldn't tolerate any disrespect, would you? So state your name, and then you say, Sorry, Kuwana, I made a bit of a ruckus here. Exactly how high up the food chain is a handyman in this town? I'm just trying to teach you some manners. People let you teach manners around here? You can't even exchange cards right. I see you know how to block a kick. So let's move on to the next part. Mm. Sure, Kawana. Don't let me down now. Let's see how good you are. Let's go. Here we go. Okay. Not bad, I guess. <laughs> you broke your deal. Hmm. Let's get that straight in there. Ah, okay. You ain't no fun. All right. Let's get a bit of this. In my system. Now that's fancy. Yeah. I could jump high. This? Okay. Hey, what else you got? I got tiger style. You want a lick of it? Okay, that was pretty good. I'll give you that. Oh, I really gotta dodge those. Can't be stuck in a combo. <laughs> those counters. Still can't dodge him. At least I'm uh, breaking his block though. Let me get you with that one more time. Yeah, there you go. Didn't look like it should have connected, but either way. There you go, Kiwana. And your fucking Timberland boots and pants. Better than I was expecting. Denim pants. Uh, right back at you. Give yourself a pat on the back. Hey, you want to tone it down? Or you want another lesson? We're the cops, by the way. I'm listening. You don't know when to give up. Time's up, both of you. The cops are almost here. What the? sugira -kun. You know each other? After we get out of here. Come on, let's use the back way. You guys don't look very happy. It's 
Seriously? How do a couple of grown-ass men end up bickering like that? I was just finishing what he started. Yeah. And you can thank Sugihira-kun here that you're still standing. How do you even know this guy? Uh... Kawana-san's our senpai here in Ijincho. He's the local handyman. He's got tons of connections both above and below ground. So... Definitely a higher tier of service than us. <laughs> Have you been working together? No, but we did pay our respects before we opened our office. Bowed our heads, asked for his blessing, all that. Unlike someone, Sugihira-kun knows his manners. Settle down. So talk. Who were those idiots back there? Kuwana-san says they're a gang. The Yokohama Liumang. Specifically, Liumang assassins, called the White Masks. They were surprisingly inept back there, though. Nah. They just didn't know who they crossed. Hold up. Assassins? Why would someone put a hit out on Yagni-san? Maybe they were just out to scare you. I mean, I doubt even the Liumang would take someone out in public. They don't like crowds. Whatever the case, can you find out who hired them? I prefer to know who wants me dead. No can do. Even they don't know their clients. They get all their gigs piped in from the dark web. Good news is, you can hire them yourself, too. Want me to hit them up for you? <laughs> no thanks. I'm good on the contract killing front. Man, oh man. What kind of shit did you step in? If you're gonna make a mess in this town, I want in. Some things are better left to the locals. Especially when it starts turning gray. Fine by me. What is? Having someone around who knows the ins and outs of Ijincho, man. Besides, don't you owe him for saving your ass from the white masks? He didn't save my ass. <laughs> Pull the stick out, buddy. I can tell he's cool. Yo, wanna grab a drink? On me. <laughs> now here's a kindred spirit. You're on, but I'm getting round two. <laughs> <laughs> See? I knew you weren't half bad. Wait, you don't mean now, do you? <laughs> you guys drink already. Talk? Nah, not tonight. I'm heading back to the agency. Got a few things to sort out. Your loss, as they say, always take what comes, never chase what leaves. <laughs> Smart My ass. Exactly. What? Except maybe a little more fancy. Right, Kaito? <laughs> it's like we're already old friends. Balgami's <laughs> always alone in his thoughts, as always. Ah? Hmm? Oh, he is. It's the guy with the hey. extractions. Extract. Back off the old man. Yeah. Hmm? Mia, did you steal it? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what is that? Gotcha. More drugs? Okay. Give you special powers. This was so goaded, though. Here we go. Having these uh, extracts. In the uh, judgment game, break through a guard without you flinching. Oh, with E, okay. Oh my god. Holy crap. That's crazy. I'm just wailing at him. <laughs> oh, that's insane. No remorse, just wailing at him. At full speed. Self-discovery. Yep. 
You're abandoned in the mountains. Yeah. Huh? I see. <sighs> All right. Yep. Sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll come over, old man. For your extracts are so overpowered. Guess I know what I got. Bring my money for. My God, it's the same thing. A bunch of eerie, dreadful area. <laughs> Rick says bad as the first. Hmm. Huh. Right. <laughs> Gotta get your own materials again? Okay. Wow. Giving me good materials already right off the bat. Warrior's Onslaught. Hive Dragon, Empty Extract Vessel, Rainbow Power of Sun, Sacred Wood, Sacred Rot, and Pork Tonkatsu Bento. Interesting. Interesting recipes. A special gourd. Okay. So we could reuse vessels that people have drank from. Yeah, we're totally not going to be getting uh, STDs. Little AIDS. Hmm? Yep. Stuff you find on the street. So you have a back issue. Got you. <laughs> Mugwort. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching part four of the Lost Judgment series. Uh, if you liked the video, please give me a like below. Subscribe and comment. I will be continuing the series as prompted. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment as well. Thank you for watching and have a great day.